Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we'd like to show you the difference between the Sartorius AY313 and this is the AZ313. The difference between the two balances is substantial in regards to price and performance. The AY313 is a strain gauge based balance and the AZ over here is a force restoration balance. The two balances um, for critical weighing applications do perform a lot different and we're going to give you a small demonstration showing you how. Both these balances have been plugged in for over three hours. So with a strain gauge you really have to make sure the balance is warmed up. Warmed up means the balance is plugged in uh, these balances don't take a lot of power, but they are sensitive to temperature. So both balances, I've adjusted the level in feet, so the balance is level. And you can see both units are in grams and grams. Both these balances are milligram balances. So you can see right now, in regards to stability, the AY3 03 is drifting around a little. You see the numbers move versus the AZ is stable as could be. And again, this is the difference between a force restoration balance and a strain gauge based balance. So in my demonstration today, I'm going to open up both these lids. So you'll notice on the AY we have a cover and on the AZ we have a nice stainless steel lid. We're just going to remove it. And I have two weigh dishes. These are anti-static weigh dishes and I'm going to place them on the balance. They're both the exact similar models. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the scale to be stable and then I'm going to press the zero key or tear key on this balance and on the AZ I will press the tear key so they're both teared out. And you'll notice already that the AY is drifting. And for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is um, I'll put this cover on just for a minute so I can show you what I'm doing. I'm going to use something real light. And in past videos, I've been using um, I've been using salt, but I wanted to give some contrast. So this is just uh, good old Tetley tea. And so what I'm going to do is, I just want to show you exactly what I have here. I'm going to be sprinkling small quantities of tea onto each balance and you'll be able to see the performance. So this is just standard tea that you would make your coffee with. And what I'm going to do is put small quantities and what I want to show in this video, I'm going to tear off both balances one final time. And what I want to show in this video is just how the balance responds. You'll see when I apply the T to the platform of the balance that on the AY, which is the strain gauge base, the scale will respond as I add the weight, but the numbers will still keep on crawling. So, like right there, I'm done. And look at the numbers keep on going. So now watch on the AZ, which is the force restoration balance, as I apply the T put it on slowly. When I stop, the balance stops. I'll put it on slow again. And you'll see the balance can easily sense the weight. And when I stop, the balance stops. But now when I go to the strain gauge base scale and I start putting on small quantities, you'll notice if I go real slow, this balance won't even pick it up because they use some software called um, um, auto drift compensation software and the balance won't even sense it. But as I put it on, as I drop T on very slowly, you'll see now I stop, watch, the numbers will just keep on going and going. I mean the performance is very good for the price that you're paying, but so many people call us, especially gun and ammo guys, and they're doing something similar where they're dropping gunpowder on the scale, and so many have called uh, saying, you know, as I apply the gunpowder, and we'll just pretend this was gunpowder, as I apply it, the scale keeps on moving when I stop. And 
there you go. I mean, it's still moving. I'm not even near the scale. Versus if you spend the money for a force restoration balance like the AZ, as you apply the T, or we'll say the gunpowder, you'll see the moment I stop, the balance stops. It's stable, stable as a rock. So here, I'll just drop a lot on and you'll see, boom, it's done. So now I'll use larger quantities of tea. So I'm just going to drop a pile and look at the response time and how stable it is. I'm going to do the same thing with the strain gauge base scale. I'm just going to take a pile of tea, drop it on, and look it. Balance is running, running, running. I'm away from it. So I think this is a pretty good demonstration. Let me do it again. I'm going to go over to the force restoration balance. I'm going to drop a lot of tea on the scale. You'll notice the balance responds. Boom, it stops. 81 milligrams. I come over to the strain gauge base scale. I take a pile of tea, drop it. Look, the number's going, going, going. Where will it stop? Now again, if you have limited funding, the uh, AY series right here is, uh, we sell it for in the $300 range. Um, the AZ is more than double in price. But there is a major difference in regards to performance of the balance. So a lot of hobbyists, if you don't have, uh, you know, close to $1,000 for the AY, uh, for the AZ over here, then all you can do is buy the AY. This video is just, we're trying to demonstrate the performance because so many people will call and say, well, I'm looking on the internet and the specifications look the exact same. Sure, they look the exact same. But if you compare the two balances, and I think this video shows it, um, there's a substantial difference. So one more time, just to give you this demonstration, I want to sprinkle slowly the T on, and you'll see the numbers go, and my hands are going to go away, and look at the numbers. They just keep on going. I'm far away. I'll sprinkle some T on slowly over here. I'll pull my hand away. The numbers, they stop. Now I'm going to drop a pile of tea on. So let's see. Right now we're looking at the balance and we have 87 milligrams on the balance. I'm going to come over. Oh, well, let's see. We'll wait. The numbers are still drifting a little. So right now we have 88 milligrams. No, now we have 87 milligrams. No, now we have 88. Now we have 87. Well, let's just drop the tea on. So you ready? We're just going to go. Boom. One. So now we have 137, it's still moving. We'll come over to the AZ, and I'm going to take my T. We have 89 milligrams. Notice, nice and stable. It's not going back and forth, drifting. I take my T, drop it. Now I have 131. Boom, it's done. One more time for the example, okay? I mean, this isn't, uh, you know, this is the truth. These are how the balance is performed. So... Even though the specifications might say they're both to a milligram, there's a big difference. So, one more time, we look at the balance, boom, drop it. Balance is just racing. Oh, now it stops, 172. Come over to this guy, drop it, boom, stops right away. So, if you have the money, we highly recommend you go with a force restoration balance. Satorius Bills, a spectacular product. Some people might say, well, why was the AY manufactured if it doesn't perform anywhere near the AZ? Well, come on, it's common sense. It's a price point. Some people just don't have the money to spend close to, a, you know, this. the MSRP on this balance is well over $1,000. This is just over $500. Um, at balances.com, or you can visit our new website, scaleman.com, both balances are sold at deep discount prices. We've been a Satorius dealer um, since 1997 or so. Satorius does manufacture a great product. Both these balances are assembled in America. All the engineering design work is from Satorius of Germany. So if you have any additional questions, give us a call or visit our website. We hope this video helped you in your buying decision.